Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I've got Vanilla Root Box for Galaxy S3. So uh, let's get into it. Here is the lock screen which is the uh, standard AOSP lock screen with the uh, swipe for different widgets. You can add different widgets there, right? So uh, I will lock the screen. Here is the launcher which is the basic 4.2 uh, launcher okay now onto it here is the uh, apps you have to flash the G apps yourself okay so that's there let's go into uh, about phones first you can see that animations right that's awesome that's really awesome in this ROM okay let's go to about phone here is whatever uh, is there rootbox build uh, version rootbox JB 4.2 which was released yesterday I believe so uh, it depends on the video going on board okay so here are these things uh, 4.2.2 model number whatever you want to know from that okay uh, cool now there's also this uh, about root box okay so you guys can know these are uh, root box <laughs> simple okay what this basically is that is that uh, it combines a lot of features from Sideroid Bot and Android Android and AOKP and combines it into a, this neat package which is Rootbox. So it's pretty neat. It was also for the Galaxy S2 smartphone which is awesome again. So that's cool. Let's go into the settings where it really shines again. Okay? Here are ROM controls which are for the uh, AOKP ROM. Let's go into ROM controls about uh, general say, general UI, lock screen, power menu, navigation bar, etc, etc. All of these, if you have used an AOKP ROM, you guys know this. Uh, lock screen settings, general UI settings. These are the settings like uh, cool, awesome settings. Okay, the boot animation, you can select boot animation transparency. Power menu, this thing you can uh, turn on anything you want in there. Now the torch is on there. Oh, I turned it on. Okay. You you have a lot of settings there. You can see the animation still, right? I love this about the ROM. Okay. Now the toggles. That is the quick settings toggles. This thing. Everything you want to know about that. It's all there. Uh, LED. The notification light. You can uh, test the LED. You can see that, right? Okay, that's cool. All of that settings, you you guys might know that about that if you have ever used an AOKP ROM. Okay, now uh, what else? Now the special settings for root box. Here it is. Root box settings, Pi control. You guys know what Pi is, right? Not the E double Pi, the Pi trigger. Okay, let me see if I can. Yeah, this is the Pi. You can see that. That's awesome that you have a lot of settings for that uh, pi style bottom angle item gap all the settings pretty cool got an nasty cold that's why I might be sound f I might sound funny okay halo halo it does have halo that's pretty neat feature okay this is halo it's got a huge customization like size uh, colors etc custom colors you can enable custom colors all of that thing so that's pretty neat I guess now hide a lot of things it has a lot lot of things okay so uh, that's cool battery pack uh, per app color for uh, battery icon okay that's cool low battery warning what do you want and when it's low in battery now this one I really like one okay it is normally in this one uh, let me see this is the stock recent file manager right now rootbox has a new style that's awesome this is a new rootbox style that's cool actually so uh, that's neat and uh, awesome let me see where I was okay, let's go into settings again rootbox settings Okay, kill all. You can select where the kill all button should be, like this one. This button you can select where at needs to be for you. What else? Style.
volume key control, uh, cursor control, breathing SMS and breathing missed call uh, feature from the uh, signation mode I guess. That's cool again. Notification shortcuts, um, power widgets again you can enable power widgets other than the quick settings. C clock, it does have C clock. Volume panel which is expandable like uh, this one, let me see. Yeah this one. You can expand it. That settings, awesome. Home button to wake the device. That's cool. You might be able to see that, right? It's all there. So it has options of. You see that fading animation, right? That is one setting which I had from here, I guess. Let me see. I don't remember from where I selected it, but it's awesome. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, you see that, right? Now, uh, wave. Let's see wave. <laughs> it has the wave animation. It's a AOKP setting, I guess, but I didn't see that in the previous AOKP build which I used. It's really awesome. Okay, let's view fold like this. It's gonna fold down. That's awesome. I really, really like this one. Translate again. It comes from the sides. Scale uh, alpha was the one which we saw then, which fades and then appears. Again, awesome, awesome animations. Okay, now um, I guess that is it. This is uh, it, this does have the hybrid settings, which is the PAC settings. But our color, UI changes, etc. You can select uh, each phone UI or anything like that if you want 240 you can use 240 for the just this one I've used 240 for this one workspace uh, everything you can use everything on this that's, that's cool you have settings for each app so if uh, you're using a 240 uh, for the phone and some apps don't function properly you can just return the only the app to 360 if you want 360 320 is the uh, default dpi setting for this one right you have the root box app which gives them gives you the their work uh, their websites and the updates from them so that's cool you can download a lot of goods from them so um, i guess that is it i'll show you guys the uh, boot animation i really like the animations on this okay so I'll show the boot animation now. Okay guys, uh, the root boot animation is going to start. Here is the boot animation. It shows you guys how the root box is made. There goes CM, there goes AOKP and there goes PA. So it was created by mixing them in a box. How cool is that? You just put them all in a box and there is the root box wrong. So uh, that's awesome. Okay, Pretty cool. Pretty neat ROM. It's really awesome, okay? You guys check it out if you want a smooth fast ROM. This is a fast ROM, okay? This is an AOSP based ROM, so uh, faster than stock ROM at least. Uh, it does have a lot of animations and all. So uh, I guess that is it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.